It's Christmas 1949, and Clark Gable is presented with a Jaguar XK120 worth just over a thousand pounds. This is the same car in Clark's Gable Grey today. Only now, says classic car expert Dave Selby, it's worth a whole lot more. Jaguar XK120s have values anything from 50,000 to 300,000 plus for ordinary cars, but this is not ordinary. It belonged to the actor Clark Gable and this car has just sold for one and a half million pounds. Classic cars like this have become a huge market for investors and they don't all have to have had famous owners. Cars like the Jaguar XKSS are selling at prices 275% higher than in 2008. And it's a global market. Richard Graylin is business manager at JD Classics in Essex. Total global market somewhere around 35 billion and those are the cars that have been quantified. So it's very much a, a global reach. More and more people from abroad are catching on to the idea of investing in classic cars. The classic car industry is worth four billion pounds to the British economy alone. But not all models offer the same returns. Values can change quickly depending on what's currently in fashion. And, Selby says, that's nowhere more evident than in the Ferrari market. Over the last four years or so, Ferrari has actually underperformed the overall market as we measure it. There are some models, remarkably, that are worth no more now than they were in 1989, which was the height of the classic car boom. Dave and his company created a classic car index in 2008. It measures the value of the world's most expensive classic cars. Since then, on a month-by-month -month basis, the index has soared. It's outperformed wine by around 250%, and art would have earned you just a quarter of the returns of classic cars in the same period. It's also outperformed global equities, and only gold has managed to keep up. Of course, you can't drive a bar of bullion. That's why Liam Cardiff keeps coming back to the classic garage investable entity and quality cars there's always going to be a market for them and and I don't from my point of view there's no risk and you know what even if there was a risk I still want the car so I'm going to enjoy it. Classic cars may not offer annual returns and owners will of course need to look after them but unlike investing in stamps or a stock portfolio very few other investments feel like 130 miles an hour. <laughs>